Hi everyone. Today it's all about these three colors, secondary colors. We're day 32 and today we are continuing our color unit. We played a game uh, with secondary colors and it was a quiz to test the knowledge, your knowledge of horizontal and vertical and all different types of lines and if you could give instructions verbally. So what the kids did is they first, excuse me, they first were given a very, very quick glance at this sheet. And these are all, of course, the three, the three secondary colors, okay? And then I started with this one, and they were given verbal description using these words. And they had to see how close they could get, just with words, not by looking at a picture, to this picture, number one. And whoever got the closest, they came up and they chose a different one. And they had to give the verbal directions. For instance, this one might have been uh, started with um, four vertical, very thin, dark orange lines. Okay, and then they had a sheet that they were filling these in on that looked like this. Okay, and there were nine boxes. Okay, and so whoever got the closest, then they were giving. Uh, the next set of directions and it was equally as hard to follow the directions as it was to give them so they didn't have to draw the one if they were the teacher they did not have to uh, draw number eight for instance okay so we practiced our plaid patterns we discussed what a plaid was okay then we put those away for the time being and we started on our secondary project so yesterday and the day before were the primary color, and we're making that look like an optical illusion using just primary colors. Today, they're starting off with choosing one of the secondary colors. So you're either choosing uh, purple, violet, right, or orange, or green. You're going to make very close lines in the background of the secondary hand. The lines need to be close together and straight, so you're going to use a ruler. After you're finished drawing them, I chose purple or violet, horizontal, but you could choose vertical orange or vertical green, but make sure your lines are close together. The second stage is to fill in every other line with a lighter version or a darker version, in other words, a lighter value or darker value of the same color, and this is a lighter value. Then the third step is to add intensity. So we're doing the hue, the value, and the, and the intensity, which are the three properties of color. And we completed the background. So the entire background on yours would be very similar to this. Okay. And notice how I decided not to use a straight line. I found it much more visually appealing, aesthetically appealing, to have uh, more of a jagged line. Okay. Still good craftsmanship but um, I thought this would look better for this particular one. Okay, and here's another example. This person, again, finished their primary color pattern using primary colors, optical illusion, and then they decided to choose green, horizontal lines, colored in every other one, right, with a different shade of green, and then added their intensity. Okay, and that person finished. Very proud of Chris, it looks really, really nice. And again, using the three secondary colors, we'll be filling in the hand uh, tomorrow on the secondary square. So again, this is his. Very, very nice craftsmanship, I must say. While students were doing that, we went, or I went, to our e-class page. Okay, this one, all right. And this is our weeks of study. I'm on the student view, so yours would look just like this, all right? And if you look down here at the bottom, of the screen. There is our color unit. All right, we're on week seven, so you would click on that. All right, and then this is what's going to come up. And I would want you to go to the acquire page if you've already finished the the preview. Go to the acquire page. Go through this PowerPoint, that will certainly help you um, review value, all the different um, 
ways you can use that and color and so forth. So there's a lot there. It's just a quick PowerPoint. Okay, when you are finished with that part of it, scroll down to the bottom of the screen. This is all on a choir. Um, test yourself if you know what the three properties are. If you know the three primary colors, you should know all of this. It's just a quick review. Complementary colors, what a hue is, harmonies, several different types of color harmonies. Another word for harmonies, recall, is color scheme or color group even. Okay. And then I want you to just briefly look at Sunday afternoon on the island of La Grande Jatte. You can find this in your art history um, section on E-Class. Look that one up. We're going to watch this video tomorrow, so if you're not here tomorrow, go ahead and watch that. And then go all the way to the bottom until you get to this video. It's a young man um, giving just a recap of color theory. It's a good, quick video and as well as this one. This has got nice soothing music you can listen to while you're working on your project, but there's some very, very interesting um, color theory examples that you would have to read a little bit of, so you may want to watch that before you work on your project. All right, and I hope to see you tomorrow. We're going to have the secondary and the primary color hands are due tomorrow, so we're having a big uh, finish up on those two for tomorrow. All right. Hope you have a great day, and hopefully I will see you tomorrow.